Not far from the Promenade des Anglais, a memorial honors those that died there in the Bastille Day attack three years ago. New frames have been placed on the victims' photos, protecting them from the wear and tear of time. Though for many in Nice, it's as if the attack happened yesterday. Thierry Vimal lost his daughter. Tonight, he's appearing on local television to criticize the International Congress of Terrorism Victims hosted by Nice, an event he says has failed to live up to its promise. They tell us it's a congress that will allow victims to be heard. But no, it's 30 minutes at the start of the day and 30 minutes at the end. That's how much time our voice gets. It's probably because they don't want to hear some of the things we have to say. We might make people angry. In the several minutes Thierry has on air, he barely begins to discuss the challenges he's faced in the wake of the attacks, frustrations shared by the city's many victims. Most of the victims that we know in Nice, the people we meet, our members, they just want us to help them. Esteban Peña is a dance instructor. He was there the night of the attack and watched dozens fall around him. His own body remains intact, but not his spirit. As a way of confronting his trauma, Esteban made a short film that will be shown to fellow victims during this week's Congress. I thought it was important to come to the site of the disaster, to come to the promenade where the tragedy took place. And we had to dance. We filmed for several days to make a short video. And I think it's important to show that the victims of terrorism can create something. Esteban dances just meters away from where the truck finally stopped on the night of July 14, 2016. But it will take more than a dance or a congress to heal a city still reeling from loss.